हेलो एंड वेलकम टू बोसॉन्स बॉटनी आफ्टर कंक्लूडिंग प्लांट एनाटॉमी आई एक्चुअली प्रोमिस्ड टू स्टार्ट विथ प्लांट मॉर्फोलॉजी बट बिफोर स्टार्टिंग विथ इट आई एक्चुअली फॉर गॉट अबाउट कुकुरबिटा स्टेम विच इज़ अ वेरी वेरी इम्पॉर्टेंट यू नो यू नो प्लांट कैटेगरी which uh, we need to study because it has some very distinguishing features very peculiar features about its stem which all of you should know and uh, very often asked so let's get started so cucurbita stem uh, for example uh, cucumber bitter gourd pumpkin all these are under cucurbitaceae family so cucurbit stem representing all those examples so the outline of section is very wavy due to the presence of furrows and ridges if you uh, get a specimen of cucurbita stem and you are asked to keep that uh, specimen under microscope then you can actually identify the wavy lines very very which are very prominent so it's a very characteristic feature about cucurbita stem the epidermis has oval <coughs> and elongated cells and uh, thick cuticle is present has multicellular hairs cortex it is divided into three main parts outer hypodermis which is both of collenchymatous as well as parenchymatous and hypodermis has chloroplast middle general cortex and inner endodermis so cortex is divided into three main regions endodermis it is all the same having starch grains uh, single layered pericycle multi layered and sclerenchyma cells are present vascular bundle this is the most important point to be noted down so vascular bundles have two rings outer ring has smaller bundles and inner ring has larger bundles and total 5 vascular bundles are present in each of the rings vascular bundle is conjoint bicolateral this term is very important and in the diagram i will define uh, this uh, word very clearly so bicolateral um it actually defines the presence of phloem on both outer as well as inner side of xylem and presence of cambia on both the sides of xylem also cucurbita stem has an open and end dark vascular bundle also but bicolateral is very very important vascular bundles are embedded in parenchymatous ground tissue pith is hollow irregular cavity present in the center this is the diagrammatic representation of cucurbita stem so as you can see the structures or the outlines here these are very very wavy you know as i have already told you then here comes <coughs> this is the epidermis basically then uh, the hypodermis outermost layer of cortex general cortex the middle general cortex and inner endodermis then pericycle this is very dark because it has sclerenchymatous cells which are thick dead cells vascular bundles arranged in a ring form and uh, two types of uh, rings are present the outer ones are very very small as you can see and the inner ones which are towards the center or facing the pith region these are very large in shape so as you can see the structure the arrangement uh, this is the outer phloem this is the cambium metaxylem protoxylem then inner phloem in the cellular diagram it will be clear and 
these are multicellular hairs which are unbranched this is the cellular representation so cuticle endodermis colon chymatus hypodermis these are uh, chlorenchyma cells having chloroplast as you can see these are chloroplast endodermis having starch grains sclerenchymatous pedicycle is present this is outer phloem this is outer cambium this is uh, outer uh, cambium okay this is metaxylem big structure very big this is protoxylem again an inner cambium is here this is inner phloem sorry this one and this is parenchymatous ground tissue and this is pith which is irregular hollow cavity so bicollateral as i have already defined two phloems are present outer inner then outer cambium inner cambium and xylem so in my next video i will take up morphology plant morphology thank you